you're going to need to use the money. You're going to need it for the rest of your lifetime. Investing is a glamorous word. You should invest your money. You should start early. You should put your money into things like RSPs or stocks or mutual funds or cryptocurrencies or... If you are in your 20s and you're looking at ways to invest money, I'm going to give you some free advice. And it's not what you might think. As a 47-year-old multimillionaire who's built several successful companies that are all in profit and doing extremely well. It wasn't an easy journey. And if I could go back and talk to myself in my 20s about the topic of investing, here's exactly what I would recommend. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to apply some focus on investing in you. Make sure that you're seeking out an experienced mentor, a coach, somebody who can help guide you and give you great counsel on how you can set about to achieve your aspirations. And when you're in your 20s, there's certainly no shortage of aspirations. Secondly, if you're going to put money into something, if you want to purchase assets, then it should be an asset that produces cash flow. It should not be an instrument where you trap your money in a vice and you have to lock it away for the next 45 years before you can access it. And thirdly, I would wholeheartedly encourage you to get your hands on a copy of this book right away. And this book is titled Becoming Your Own Banker. Now that journey began for me when I was 32. So I was out of my 20s, but it certainly had a positive impact and transformation on my life and it can have the very same on yours too. Knowing what I know now, I wouldn't have hesitated for a moment in my 20s to get my hands on that book, to read it, and to begin implementing the process as it related to my needs. Now, you can do this too. I'm going to share a secret with you. Unless someone's already told you this, you're going to need the use of money. You're going to need it for the rest of your lifetime. Investing is a glamorous word. You should invest your money. You should start early. You should put your money into things like RSPs or stocks or mutual funds or cryptocurrencies or all the above. In order for you to do those things, you have to hand control of your money over to someone else who thinks that they can do better with it than you can. All the while, in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond, you're going to be working or doing something to produce money. And that money is going to land on the books of someone else's bank. And it's going to sit there waiting for you to do something with it. And whatever it is that you choose to do, it's going to involve a transfer of that money away from you. Whether it's spending money for all your personal overhead, the things that you need to make your financial world go around, whether it's paying off student loans or buying that vacation that you've already uh, dreamed of going on, it's all going to involve a permanent transfer of money away from you. The best investment that you can make is in learning a process that is going to make sure that that money is not transferred away from you that that money stays within your own system so that you have that money readily available to take advantage of all those opportunities that will most certainly track you down throughout the remainder of your lifetime. Now, you're going to be exposed to a whole wide variety of different investment opportunities. Those investment opportunities are all going to involve some form of risk and some form of losing control over the use of your money. Now, suffice to say, there isn't anything wrong with investing, but understand that you can go about that process of investing without ever losing control over the daily growth and compounding effect on your own money. This process of becoming your own banker is all about how you go about financing the things that you need throughout your lifetime which can certainly include investments. Now, when I was in my 20s, I remember sitting down with a mutual fund salesperson and opening up my first mutual fund account. In fact, it was uh, just before I turned 20. I sat down with this mutual fund salesperson and he said, what are you doing here? 
you should be out with all of your college buddies getting hammered. <laughs> what are you doing sitting down with me talking about investing? What I knew at that time is that I wanted my money to grow. I wanted my money to multiply. I kept hearing about time value of money. And the longer the time frame, the more your money will compound and grow. But what nobody told me is to ask myself this question. Who is the banker in your life today? It can and it should be you. And if you can get started in your 20s, when you're in your 40s like I am, you'll be more than glad that you did. And you won't have to worry about the stomach churning ups and downs of stock markets or the massive amount of speculation that's currently going on in the year 2021 as it relates to cryptocurrencies and all those things that you can put money in and hope and pray that it's going to go in the right direction. I want you to be thinking about investing in yourself finding yourself a great coach, a great mentor who can give you the guidance that you need to succeed in your life. I want you to get your hands on this book and read it. And once you read it, take action, begin implementing this in your life as it relates to your needs. What I want you to stay away from is speculating. And I want you to stay away from gambling because when you put your money into the stock market, when you speculate on things like cryptocurrencies, if you are going to do any of that, be sure to do it with money that if you lost it all, it wouldn't cripple you financially and you wouldn't lose a wink of sleep over it. Your money must reside somewhere and someone must perform the function of banking as it relates to your needs. So take control of that function as it relates to your needs, and you'll create so much financial abundance in your life that you'll have all your other 20-year-old friends asking you, what on earth are you doing to create all this financial abundance? I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, pass it along to someone else that you know that's in their 20s. Because I'll tell you, if I could have gotten this same advice in my 20s, I'd be even much farther ahead than I am today.